Welcome to another Tech Help video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I'm your instructor, Richard Rost. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to add formatting to your report address block in Microsoft Access. Now, this video is a follow up to another video I did about a week or so ago where I showed you how to make a professional looking address block in your Access reports. Instead of having your fields all spaced out like that, I told you how to put them all together in one block and hide things that aren't there. You get rid of missing spaces, all that stuff. Well, I got a bunch of emails and people posted comments asking if it's possible to add formatting inside this block since it's one field. How can I add some color or bold something or change the font? Well, that's what I'm gonna show you how to do in today's video. We'll add a little color there and change the font size. But if you have not yet watched this video, go watch this first so you know what I'm talking about. You'll find it on my website, on my YouTube channel. There's a little QR code you can scan right there if you want to. Okay, so here I am back in my Tech Help Free template. Now, I didn't save the database from the previous video. I don't always save them. I make sure I save them if I'm gonna make an extended cut so I can give the gold members their download. Sometimes I save it if there's a lot of cool stuff in it, but that was just like one field in the report, so I didn't bother to save it. But if you go to my website, and I always tell you to check my website because sometimes I put extra notes or addendums or things on here that I don't always put on YouTube. If you scroll down, I put that crazy address block right down here so you can just copy and paste it. All right, so we'll use that. I'm going to copy it to my clipboard right there. Whoops, too much. Right there. Copy. And there's always a link to my website in the description under the YouTube video if you're watching on YouTube. Right, here's the YouTube page, come down here, see this big gray block, they do a good job of hiding it, right? Click the show more, scroll down, and you'll see right there under the learn more link, right? That's where the page is on my website for this video. Oh, I did put the address block here, how nice of me. Okay, so it's down here too, I forgot I did that. Okay, anyways, copy this. All right, so let's recreate that address field real quick. We added a ad, an address to field to the customer table, right? Insert here, address to so I could show you if it's missing stuff, right? Save that and we'll leave it blank. I don't care about the data. And we have to also add it to the order invoice queue design. So we have to find that, which is right, where'd it go? Where'd you go? Right there, double click, boom, and it puts it at the end. There it is, that's fine. Save it, close it. All right, now we can adjust the invoice. So go to an order, go to invoices. There's our address block. All right, let's go to design view. I'll get rid of everything but the first name block like that. And we'll just make this one bigger. Okay, double click. Let's go to all. We'll set the name to address block. And the control source, I'm going to zoom in, shift F2, is going to be what we copied from the clipboard. Boom, that thing. Okay, hit OK. Save it, close it, close it, open it. And there, see, real quickly, we're right back where we were at the end of the address block video. That's usually why I don't save things I don't plan on doing more with, but okay, here we are, right? <laughs> now, how do I get formatting in this if it's one field, right? I can come up here and change the format up here. I can change the font and this and make it red, whatever. But how do I change the individual elements inside here? Well, the trick is, can anyone guess? Pause the video, see if you can guess. All right, did you get it? Did you guess? There's the answer, rich text, right? You can use rich text. We've done it before in a form and in a report, right? To put some formatting inside of a text field. All right, so how does this apply to our invoice? Well, come in here. Now this isn't a bound field. It's a collection of a bunch of different bound fields. So double click on that, bring up the properties, go to data. Yeah, I know it's under data, not format. It's the type of data that the field stores, right? Text format, switch this to rich text. Now save it close it and open it back up again. And you'll see the data is still there, but notice that our line breaks are not working, right? Okay, it's all crammed together in one line. That's because that VB new line, that 1310, those characters we use, those don't work in rich text. We have to replace those with HTML line break characters. All right, it actually makes it easier to read. So let's go over here, we'll zoom in. All right, everywhere you see a CHR13, CHR10 pair, we're going to replace that with quote BR inside of brackets like that. That is the HTML equivalent for a line break. So then we're going to copy that, and then we're going to paste it here. 
and here, and there. Okay, now we just took what we had and translated it some, to something that will display better with rich text. Let's take a look now. And okay, it looks better. We got our, our line breaks back. Okay. All right, let's throw in some bold. Right click, design view. Let's go back into here, right? Shift F2. Let's bold the first name field. All right, now we got to put it before first name and then after last name. I'm going to put it right... Right in front of that parenthesis, maybe, because this whole thing is like one block, right? So I want it right in front of there. After the first two parentheses, I'm going to put a B in here. That's the bold tag, or you can use strong if you like. And, and then after that one right here, or actually we could throw it inside with this one here, right? Slash B, like that. So start bold, end bold. All right. Okay. Save it. Close it. Open it, and there we go. My name is in bold. Right, kind of hard to see. Let me zoom in a touch. There you go. Look at that, right? Now, what HTML tags can you use? It's a small subset. There's a list of them. Um, I'm sure you could find it with a Google search. I have a video coming out soon where I'm going to cover them in a little more detail because there's some pretty cool stuff that you can do with these HTML tags. But let's do one more. Let's change the font size and color. Okay, so right-click, Design View. Again, zoom in. All right, right inside this tag here, we're gonna go font size equals four. Now these aren't the point sizes that the regular font is in Access. They're HTML sizes. I think three is the default, so this will make it a little bit bigger. Two or three, I can't remember. Um, you, you just kind of gotta play with it and visually just see how you like it, right? All right, and then color equals, and let's do uh, a hex color, which will be Hashtag 0000FF, right? And then close the tag. If you don't know hex colors, that's the red component, that's the green component, that's the blue component, RGB, and it's from 00 to FF, it's hexadecimal. If you wanna learn more about hex colors, go watch this video. I talk all about them and the RGB function and all that stuff. All right, and then right here, don't forget to close your font tag. Hit OK, let's close it. Close it, save it, open it, and there we go. Blue, a little bit bigger, and bolded. And that's how you can add formatting to that individual field, that address block, in your invoice or whatever report you happen to be working with. And again, if you want to learn more about these colors and HTML tags that you can use in Access, I do have another video coming out soon. Make sure to get on my mailing list if you want to get notified. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, and you'll get notifications there as well. I do have an older HTML 101 class on my website. It's free. I'll put a link to this down below as well. Uh, it's a little over an hour long. It's, it's from 2002, but HTML really hasn't changed that much. All the stuff that I cover in this video is still valid. You can't use every HTML tag in Access, but a lot of them, right? Fonts and bolds and all that kind of stuff. So check it out if you want to. There's my old logo. And when I started, everyone always asked, when I started the company, it was I used to ship CDs for $5.99. That's where $5.99 comes from. So, and it's a nice short domain name, so I kept it. All the links on my site go to 599 CD something. All right, so there you go. There's your tech help video for today. I hope you learned something. Live long and prosper. I'll see you next time. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up and post any comments you may have below. I do try to read and answer all of them as soon as I can. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, which is completely free. Click the bell icon and select all to receive notifications when new videos are posted. Want to learn more? Click the show more link below the video to find additional resources and links. YouTube does a pretty good job of hiding it. It's right down there. See this part of the description here, right? The name, the videos up here. There's a little show more down there, right down the bottom. It's kind of hard to find. But once you click on that, you'll see a list of other videos, additional information related to the current topic, free lessons, and lots more. And YouTube no longer sends out email notifications when new videos are posted like they used to do. But if you'd like to get an email every time I post a new video, click on the link to join my mailing list. And you can pick how frequently to get emails from me, either as they happen daily, weekly, or monthly. 
Now, if you'd like to become a paid member of my channel and receive all kinds of awesome perks, click on the join button. You'll see a list of all the different membership levels that are available, each with its own special perks, including my extended cut videos, access to my code vault, lots of VBA source code in there, template downloads, and lots more. I'll talk more about these perks at the end of the video. Even if you don't want to commit to becoming a paid member and you'd like to help support my work, please feel free to click on the tip jar link. Your patronage is greatly appreciated and will help keep these free videos coming. I got some puppies to feed. But don't worry, no matter what, these free tech help videos are going to keep coming. As long as you keep watching them, I'll keep making more and they'll always be free. Now, if you really want to learn access and you haven't tried my free Access Level 1 course, check it out now. It covers all the basics of Microsoft Access, including building forms, queries, reports, and more. It's over four hours long. You could find it on my website or on my YouTube channel. I'll put a link down below you can click on. And did I mention it's completely free? The whole thing, free, four hours, go watch it. And okay, okay, a lot of you have told me that you don't have time to sit through a four hour course. So I do now have a quicker Microsoft Access for Beginners video that covers all the basics faster in about 30 minutes. And no, I didn't just put the video on fast forward. <laughs> but I'll put a link to this down below as well. Now, if you like level one, level two is just a dollar. That's it, one dollar. And that's another whole like 90 minute course. Level two is also free for paid members of any level, including supporters. So if you're a member, go watch level two, it's free. Okay, wanna get your question answered in a video just like this one? Visit my tech help page and send me your question there. Members get priority, of course. While I do try to read and respond to all of the comments posted below in the comments section, I only have time to go through them briefly a couple of times a month, and sometimes I get thousands of them. So send me your question here on the tech help page and you'll have a better chance of getting it answered. And while you're on my website, be sure to stop by my Access Forum. We've got lots of lively conversations about Microsoft Access and other topics. I have a fantastic group of moderators who help me answer questions. Shout out to Alex, Kevin, Scott, Adam, John, Dan, Juan, and everybody else who helps out on the site. I appreciate everything you do. I couldn't do it without you. Be sure to follow my blog, find me on Twitter, and of course on YouTube. Yeah, I'm on Facebook too, but I don't like Facebook. Don't get me started. Now, let's talk more about those member perks if you do decide to join as a paid member. There are different levels, silver, gold, platinum, and diamond. Silver members and up get access to all of my extended cut tech help videos, one free beginner class every month, and some other perks. Gold members get all the previous perks plus access to download the sample databases that I build in my tech help videos, plus access to my code vault where I keep tons of different functions that I use, the code that I build in most of the videos. You'll also get higher priority if you do submit any tech help questions. Now answers are never guaranteed, but you do go higher in the list for me to read them. And if I like your question, you got a good chance of it being answered. You'll also get one free expert level class each month after you've finished the beginner series. Platinum members get all the previous perks plus even higher priority for tech help questions. You get access to all of my full beginner level courses for every subject. And I cover lots of different subjects like Word, Excel, VBA, ASP, lots of different stuff, not just access. These are the full length courses found on my website. You get all the beginner ones. In addition, once you finish the expert classes, you get one free developer class per month. So lots of training. And finally, you can also become a diamond sponsor. You'll have your name or your company name listed on a sponsors page that will be shown on each video as long as you're a sponsor. You'll get a shout out in the video and a link to your website or product in the text below the video and on my website. So that's it. Once again, my name is Richard Rost. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something today. Live long and prosper, my friends. I'll see you again soon.